Getting that first job on Upwork is difficult. I've been there. I was you five years ago. Now I've earned over $500,000 on Upwork and 400,000 of that was earned in just the last two years. I have a 100% job success score and expert vetted badge on my profile. But when I first started, I had no previous clients, no portfolio, no paid gigs, no testimonials and reviews. You can find your first clients with the right strategy. And so I'm going to train you on what I wish I knew when I first started on Upwork when it comes to finding those first few jobs. If you're a total beginner to Upwork and you keep submitting proposals, but nothing, no response, no interviews, this video is for you. How do you convince a client to hire you when you've had no previous clients or very few? There's one thing that you need to have that many freelancers overlook. That's proof. But how do I get proof of my skills, Chad, when I haven't had clients before? That's the, the most common question that I get. I got my first freelance job as a video editor because I submitted proof of videos that I've edited in the proposals that I sent. But the first videos that I submitted as proof were not from paid gigs. They were not from freelance clients because I had none. They were videos that I just edited for fun, but it still demonstrated the skills that I had. If you're any type of freelancer that produces visual content, whether it's photos, videos, writing, graphic design, web design, then coming up with proof is fairly easy because you can easily fabricate projects to demonstrate your skills. Proof can come in two forms though, either social proof through testimonials and reviews or physical proof through actual work samples. I'm gonna show you what each of these can look like in various industries. The best ways to get clients is to have social proof and visual proof, but you must at least have one of those. So if you're just getting started and you're a graphic designer, for example, you wanna have social proof to attach to your visual examples, then what you could do is you could offer a coupon to a couple of people or a couple businesses where they're basically, you're doing work for them for free just to be able to have a sample of your work and a testimonial attached to that in order to get those first few clients. Now, maybe you can try to offer it for a little bit of money, but again, it's hard to convince somebody to pay you money if you don't have any proof that you have the skills that you say you have. So you might have to do just one or two projects for free, just small ones, don't go after really big ones, just small ones that will demonstrate your skills, but then it also allows you to get a good review and a testimonial that you can now add to your portfolio. Now, if your freelance work is more strategy-based, it's, it's like marketing or some type of consulting, which is what I do right now, then you're helping a business achieve a certain result over time. And so you have to now prove to your potential clients that you're capable in doing that. But if you've never worked with a business before helping them achieve that result, then it gets tricky, right? So I'm gonna show you what this looks like if you're that type of freelancer. But first, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want more content on how to find clients on Upwork. So most freelancers start out as technicians or creatives and then they eventually might become strategic consultants because it's much easier to create samples of your work that you've even done in school or for fun when you are producing something visual, you know, like graphic design, video editing, and so forth. And you might have to start in, in with that type of freelancing. It's very difficult to start out as a consultant if you haven't produced a result for somebody because technically that means you don't have the experience to be a consultant. Now, if you've had employee jobs for the last 10 years and you've produced results for the businesses you've worked for, you can, you can frame that experience in a way where you can show proof that you have helped businesses achieve a certain result and you can become a consultant. You can jump right into consulting. Um, it's more difficult if you're fresh out of college, you don't have much business experience, um, so you don't have much to advise on. So you might need to start as a technician or creative. So if you're the type of freelancer that is offering business growth as a result opposed to a visual project, then you need proof that you can create that result. So in my current freelance business, I help companies online to grow their audiences on YouTube and on social media through video. So when I first started, I just edited videos, but now I advise on the strategy behind them. And at first, you know, it was, there was less pressure. All I had to do is deliver a good video. And if they liked it, 
then they were satisfied with my work. It didn't matter whether that video ultimately helped their business grow, they weren't really paying me for that. But over time, I saw that my videos were helping the businesses that I was working for grow and get more sales and get a bigger audience. And so I was able to reframe that experience to be like, hey, I can advise on this, I can provide consulting on this, but it took time of being just a creative before I could move into consulting. And so when I first created a portfolio as a consultant, I used some graphs from clients I worked for as a video editor showing how their audiences grew during the time that I was editing videos for them. And my videos had a big impact on that audience growing. So what you're seeing is an example of what my portfolio looks like today, where I have graphs mostly that show how I've helped a client's audience grow over time through my strategy consulting. These graphs are, are pulled from YouTube analytics, Google analytics, and they basically show proof that I helped their audiences grow over time. I helped their website traffic increase. So that's my physical proof is those graphs to show the results I got for a client. And then, you know, other types of data, percentages, things like that is another form of physical proof. Like, oh, I helped them increase their website traffic by 30%. Now getting those testimonials and reviews is extremely important. I know it's more difficult when you're get, just getting started, but you can always find somebody that's willing to verify that you know what you're doing. It could be a friend, it could be a colleague, it could be somebody you went to school with. It doesn't have to be a previous client. You just need somebody to verify, hey, he knows what he's talking about, he knows what he's doing. With every job you start to get, no matter how small, don't hesitate in adding physical proof and social proof to your portfolio, and your ability to keep getting clients will get easier and easier, and you'll get bigger and higher paying clients. But to find that first Upwork job as a total beginner, since you don't have reviews yet on your profile, you need to create some kind of attachment that you include in your proposal, some kind of PDF attachment where it has testimonials, it has visual examples of your work. It's your portfolio that you've compiled together of proof that you know what you're doing, even though none of that proof is from previously paying clients. It doesn't matter. It's not made up. You're not lying. It just is not from clients, but it is proof that you know what you're doing. You have to remember the client is taking on risk in hiring you. And so the more proof you provide them, then they won't feel as if they're wasting their money. They're not going to be afraid that they're going to waste their money and regret hiring you. The higher chances that you'll have in being able to get the clients you want and get those first couple clients, the more proof that you have. So stop telling yourself that you'll have proof once you have a few clients. This is the hamster wheel that a lot of freelancers get in. Oh, I can't, I'm submitting hundreds of proposals and I'm not getting any clients. You're not showing enough proof for your work. So take the time to step back and create a portfolio of proof. Proof. You need to dig for it. You need to work for it to really get those testimonials in place and that visual proof in place in order to get your first few clients. If this is helpful to you, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want more content like this, and head over to my website, freelancefamilyman.com, where you can download a free book that helps you build up your freelance business while supporting the family. Have a great day.